All right, welcome to our third and final video of this training series here. I'm going to show you the most important aspect of permaculture. If you master this aspect of permaculture, you will create a system of farming that not only is self-perpetuating, perennial, which means uh, that it grows every year on its own without you having to constantly slave away and labor expensively on it. And uh, it'll also produce an optimum amount of quality and quantity for the amount of space you have to grow in if you can master this concept of plant layering. So we're gonna start with the first layer the ground, the soil there, your substrate, if you got gravel, if you have just dirt. This is road base here, of course, but it gives you a great perspective of what the first layer is. It is just what your soil is made out of. And in that, we see these fantastic little creatures here, which people like to call weeds. However, in permaculture, we know there is no such thing as a weed. Everything has a name and a purpose. These pioneering plants are made to break way to the soil here. And that's going to give the soil some shade underneath here for some different creatures to grow. And it's also going to give the soil a little bit of loose dirt in underneath here where it collects from the wind blowing. Um, and that's going to help other plants root in the future. It's going to break up all these rocks and help these trees get back into this road and eat this road out. And so uh, eventually, after years of these pioneering plants taking place, as a transition looks kind of like what you're seeing here, it'll turn into more of this Sahara grassy knollish type of thing where you might see some sunflowers, other little herbs, maybe some grasses and wheats and uh, what else we have in here. Yeah, lots of grasses it looks like and just little critters. I love permaculture because every time you come out, you can always find a new little plant to study and discover and find out what it does, such as these little guys. I'm not too sure at the moment what this little guy is. However, uh, it's quite unique and I love it. So this all provides food. And these attract bugs and all of the creatures and critters that eat these things and pollinate off of these things will poop and pee and they will uh, lay around and dig and till the soil up and that is going to create the next bigger layer which kind of turns into these taller plants here behind me which um, can also be replaced with bushes of berries and that's what I prefer, actually, on um, this layer here is berry bushes. And that attracts, of course, more things like bears. However, um, those bears and elk that planting berries may attract will dig up your ground enough that your uh, forest will be able to begin to grow bigger plants like the scrub oak and this will provide shelter and shade for those creatures to help bring them back into your biosphere that we're building here with permaculture. With permaculture, we're recreating the forest and having it work for us, and we work with it instead of against it by plowing it down. And then, instead of having a canopy layer made of pine trees, that's our topmost layer, you can have nuts and fruit trees and then on those trees you can grow vines like passion fruit and underneath fungus and well that will end our video for plant layering we're almost set a time here 
And thank you all for following along with me. In our next email, you'll be linked to our blog. Until next time, aloha.